Hello, it's Samantha. Right now I'm in a hotel in Anchorage because that is where Gray is taking his bar exam and we just decided to stay overnight um, because he had to get up early for the test and I wanted to come for emotional support and now I'm just hanging out in a room while he's taking the test. <laughs> a few weeks ago I made an update video explaining why I had been gone from YouTube for so long. And just by looking at the reasons in that video alone, it makes sense why I was gone. But another big reason for why I was gone is because I am pregnant. If you didn't think any of that was a good enough reason, a good enough excuse, which I know you did because you understand, um, here's another excuse for you. Right now I'm 19 weeks pregnant, so I'm in my fifth month of pregnancy. And I know a lot of people announced it sooner, but we just were really busy. We were traveling a ton and we were moving from Virginia to Alaska. And obviously that's like a huge thing that we needed to prepare for and worry about. So we just didn't announce it online for a while. We started telling friends and family pretty early around eight weeks. And then we announced it to like more and more friends and family as you know, time went on and I announced it to like the people I know in real life on social media, but not to like my public Instagram. Also, it's my announcement, so I can announce it whenever I feel like it. But basically my point in saying all this is that it wasn't a bad reason that we have been holding off announcing this. Everything is looking really good with the pregnancy. We had a huge blood test back when I was nine weeks and a test like so many things and everything came back great. And we've had a couple ultrasounds um, since then too and those also looked really good. In a couple weeks I have my big 20 week scan where they like check all kinds of things through ultrasound with the baby so that'll be really good. So just so you know I will be uploading more videos on this channel about this topic because that's what's going on in my life right now obviously. I still will be uploading some cancer content here and there, but obviously this is the big thing that's happening that's on my mind and uh, that I can really share with you now while it's happening. So I'm going to give you some information in this video, but um, I figured you guys would have a lot of questions, so soon I will be making a pregnancy Q&A video, so if you have any questions that you want to ask about the pregnancy, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll probably have a place on Instagram to write questions too. That'll happen soon, so hopefully you guys can get your questions answered. I found out that I was pregnant back in April. It was the Sunday or Monday before Easter, and if you notice, that's around the time when my uploads stopped. I think it was April 10th or 11th that I found out, and my last long video was uploaded on April 3rd, and my last short video was uploaded on April 15th. So. Basically, I took a big break from YouTube and social media when I found out I was pregnant. Again, it wasn't for any bad reason at all. This was completely planned. It was not a surprise. I just don't want people to think that this is something that is going to be really bad for me and my health because of the whole stage four breast cancer situation. A lot of people that have had stage four breast cancer can't have kids just at all. They just can't. and. For some, it's just highly recommended that they don't. But all the way back when I was diagnosed when I was 22, I knew that I wanted to have kids someday. I didn't know when I wanted to have kids, but I knew that someday I wanted to have kids. So it was always something that was talked about with my oncologist and my other doctors. Um, it was something that we discussed the entire way. And so we never made any treatment decisions that could have like completely taken that ability away from me. And then when I made the decision that I wanted to try to get pregnant, it that was also discussed with my oncologist beforehand. It was part of the reason why I decided not to go back on cancer medication. It wasn't the reason that I completely stopped my cancer medication. So if you remember, I stopped my cancer meds because it was too much for me. And my oncologist said, hey, take a break. like." be off of these for three months or so, and then we'll come back and discuss and decide if you wanna go back on them at a lower dose or if you want to try a different drug. And so it wasn't the reason that I stopped my medication completely because that was just for all the reasons that I said before that it was too much and I have a whole video about it. I was no evidence of disease anyway. So 
um, that those were the reasons that I stopped. And obviously, again, that was all discussed with my doctor. So don't be making decisions like this without your doctor. But it was a big reason why I didn't go back on medication. First of all, I knew, I kind of just knew that I didn't want to go back on the medication until a scan or something showed signs of cancer that was back. Um, but also I knew that I couldn't go on the medication if I wanted to get pregnant in the near future. And I knew that I wanted to try that. Basically, once I got off my medication and I was starting to feel good, I was like, oh my gosh, like I've been telling myself that I didn't want this for, for this, this many years because I knew that it wasn't a possibility. But like deep down, I have always wanted to have a baby. And once I got off the medication and it was actually a possibility, it was like, I really wanted it and got Gray on board. Obviously he was on board too. It wasn't just my decision. Um, and so that's why we decided to try. Going back on those hormone medications or targeted therapy would have either made it impossible for me to get pregnant or really, really hard for me to get pregnant. But the main reason that you don't want to go on them is because it can harm the baby. Um, while you're pregnant. So you don't want to get pregnant while you're on those medications. So before any of you guys come at me and tell me that I'm going to be killing myself or other women by announcing that I'm pregnant after I've had stage four breast cancer that was hormone positive, I just want you to know that this was all discussed with my doctor and it is okay for me to do this. It's not okay for everybody. Every situation is different. You should obviously discuss it with your doctor first before I get all the comments saying that I'm killing people. <laughs> I just want to say, yes, this was discussed with my doctor. Of course it was. We don't make any kinds of serious decisions without that because obviously there's risks for things and I need to make sure that we know all the information first. If you want more information about how this pregnancy is specifically um, affecting my cancer plan, I actually have a video planned to talk about that. So if you're just a little bit patient, I can explain that in more in depth, but don't have time for it in this video. <laughs> Honestly, like the, the, the fear of the troll comments saying that I'm killing people was one of the reasons why we didn't announce it for so long. Um, just wanted to enjoy my little bubble with my family and my friends that know the situation that I'm in and know that I'm doing everything fine. People are always like, don't worry about the comments. Like, I know, I don't worry about the comments. I've been making YouTube videos since I was 11 or 12 years old. They really don't get to me. Honestly, I screenshot them and I send them to people and I laugh about it because it's just so funny sometimes to see people get so angry and worked up about something that they don't know about or some person that they don't know about and sometimes it's just it's it's really just comical. So, I'm not worried about the comments, but you know, I just wanted to be in my little bubble with my happy little bubble with my family and friends and being like, yeah, I'm pregnant, it's great. And yeah, didn't feel the need to share it on YouTube. So, that's why I'm not doing it until now. But now I am because I want to. So, I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this video to go into me, like, starting to talk negatively about all the people who post hate comments, but let's change the topic. <laughs> the baby's due date is December 21st, so it could be a Christmas baby. Also, I want it to be known that yes, we do live in Alaska now, but we don't live in the middle of nowhere. We live an hour away from Alaska's biggest city. Well, I can show you right now. Look, this is downtown Anchorage. There's things here, guys. There's there's lots of things here. Um, it, it actually has more stuff here than we had in our town in Virginia. Like, I'm surprised by the amount of stores that, that are here. Oh my gosh, I can't get the camera back, hold on. I'm just constantly surprised by like the stores and the options that they have here that they just did not have where we lived in Virginia. The only thing that they don't have is Chick-fil-A because they don't have Chick-fil-A in the state of Alaska at all. And it's really sad, but they do have canes, so that's good. Where we live, we are within 20 minutes of multiple grocery stores, Target, Walmart, like anything that you basically need. Our hospital is 20 minutes away. 
which might even be closer than we were to a hospital in Virginia. It's pretty close, um, depending on the traffic and stuff. We live in Alaska, but we don't live in a cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere with no running water. And, you know, we're living off the land and hunting for our food. Like, that, it, no, we, we have the things that we need. <laughs> so don't worry about us in that way. Um, hospital's great. We took a tour of it already. One of the frequently asked questions that I do get um, just from my friends that I've told this news to is we did not have to go through IVF. Um, I did freeze my eggs before I started cancer treatment because there is a chance that chemo can completely shut down your ovaries and um, damage things. So um, we froze them in case. But no, this pregnancy was natural. Uh, let me know what video you want to see next if you want a Q&A or you want to see the video of me finding out I was pregnant or whatever. And again, like I said, leave questions down below. I'll try to make a video and answer a bunch of them. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, Gray and I are both really excited, so I know you guys will be happy for us too, most of you. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about this or about cancer. Also check out our vlog channel if you want videos like that. The first part of our moving vlog is up on that channel and we'll be uploading the second part this weekend probably sometime. So yeah, enjoy that and thanks so much for watching. Yeah, that's all. Bye!